Hey everybody, Steve Chase here. I'm gonna create a video to show you how to troubleshoot when your reconciliations are giving you trouble in QuickBooks Online. Okay, so right now we're looking at the screen here that says your account isn't ready to reconcile yet. Your beginning balance is off $103.09. We can help you fix it. Okay, so sometimes um, this is where just panic sets in here. And what, what I'd like to do is, um, Yes, it's true that you can click, we can help you fix it. And most of the time it will show you what's been going on and all that. But let me just hold off on that for just a second. And let's go to the source, which is, let's look at the reconciliation reports. Because that, to me, um, would be the first thing you want to do. When you go to the reports section, all you need to do is just type REC to begin the prompt in the search window and find the reconciliation reports. Okay, so what a reconciliation report essentially is going to show you um, a report on who reconciled it, a user, the date it was reconciled, and um, a beginning balance, ending balance, and so forth like that. And you can actually, you know, if you have more than one bank account, you'll see them in here. Just simply select to be able to see. And so the first thing I want to call to your attention is this column here that says changes and just kind of watch my mouse here i'm going down here and i'm seeing all zeros which normally is a good thing to see zeros but occasionally you might see something that just stands out and it could be the last one or it could be deep inside of it and if, if there's a change that's because a transaction has been voided deleted or the dollar amounts changed and it has uh, after a reconciliation report. Okay, um, so uh, first off, uh, let's just go ahead and run a quick reconciliation report here. I'm just gonna click view report here and we'll just kind of tell you um, some, some key metrics here, beginning balance, ending balance, uh, register balance, so forth, and it will tell you what was reconciled. Uh, also very important is what's not reconciled will show up down below as well. So um, no, notice this is period ending November 30th, 2023. I'm going to manipulate and go in and, and do something here. I'm going to start deleting some things, which is you know not right, but just for this purpose of this demo, I'm just going to flat out delete this uh, AT&T payment here and more delete. Okay, see you later. All right, gone. Seemed pretty innocent there, but notice now when we, this same report here, how that AT&T 265 has been deleted. Okay, so it used to be down here. Uh, 265, let's see here. Yeah, right there. And notice that I can click on all of these right here. I cannot click on this one right here. It, it's gone. It's not a hyperlink uh, to find it here. So if I were to try to reconcile the checking 55, it's going to give me um, a little bit of trouble here. So I usually go gear, reconcile, but there's several ways you can get there. And here we go. Hey, your account isn't re ready to reconcile. We can help you fix it. Okay, so great. Let's attempt to click, we can help you fix it. Now here's where it can be one, you know, or it can be multiple things going on. So it just depends on what was happening in the activity. So as an accountant, I, I see this kind of stuff all the time, helping out others and helping people get their bank, bank reconciled properly. So if you're doing the books on your own, um, if you ever do need to delete something, I'm not saying that's bad, but you you definitely would have to go back in and put it back into the bank account and fix it. So typically um, what will happen is if you delete something for whatever reason, it was a duplicate and we're trying to do that, then we, we need to um, just be aware that we're not done yet. We have to go put it back in, fix it. You know, sometimes there there's a little bit more complication than what I'm sharing right now just because there's so many different options but point of this video here is one how can you find changes to reconciliation reports and i showed you one way you can run that we can help you fix this or you can go to the reconciliation reports 
history by account and C um, changes. So the other option that you have is you can go to the bank feeds and you can look for transactions that are sitting in the bank feeds that should have been already matched or added. And so if we were to go back to the che checking 5555, so let's go back to the bank feeds. I'm going to click on the che checking right here. You can see, hey, there it is right here. So if a user deletes something that was populated from a bank feed, goes right back uh, to the bank feeds. So essentially, our using just regular QuickBooks user accounts, not a QuickBooks online accountant, because accountants have a little bit more extra tools to be able to undo a full reconciliation and go back several and redo it. But if you just have um, just a regular user account for most users, depending on what version you have of QuickBooks, your option is you, you need to put it back into the register and do a one-off reconcile in the register. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna come right here and click add. And it's back in there. Then I'm going to go right to the bank feeds. And I'm going to select here, reconcile status, not reconciled to help find it. And here it is. Now notice that it has a letter C right next to it. That means it's been cleared from the bank feeds coming in. And it should reconcile, but you know, it's deleted and all that. So we would need to uh, just simply click on this to make it re-reconciled. Okay, now when you do that in the register, be very careful about that because um, you, the reason why we're re-reconciling registers is because you saw me delete it and then I'm re-reconciling it. And that's kind of a one-off deal. Okay, um, so that was it. I mean, a, a transaction, if I were to show you, a transaction is either gonna have an R or a C, or it could actually be blank if we're still waiting for it to match. Okay, so let's go back in gear, reconcile the checking account. Now that remember, this is the visa that has problem. I'll, I'll show you another way we can fix that. Go back here, click on the checking, and that box disappeared because um, I re-reconciled the deleted once before reconciled account to that. Okay, so. Just real quick, let's look at the, you'll always will have this. If you do delete something, you're always going to be stuck with this right here. Uh, but I'm showing you a, as a non-accountant tool to be able to basically fix it, just get the balance straight back in there. So that's going to be like that um, as we see that. Okay. Now let me reconcile the credit card. So the credit card had an issue too as well. So um, what we're going to do is select on the visa. All right. Okay, so here we are. It's 103.09. Okay. All right. So when I try to reconcile the visa, I'm going to click, we can help you fix this. Okay. And this just kind of gets us saying, hey, there was a reconciled transaction for 10309. Not really useful unless you click view. And then you can actually see the history of how that transaction was. So you can start to see um, it was in there at some point. Um, we should see it got reconciled and then it got deleted. Okay, so. Just a little test purposes. I delete it right before the video came on. It's all fun like that. Um, if you're concerned about duplicates, or sorry, if you're concerned about a whole bunch of people going in and deleting things, you probably want to do an audit log. And you, the audit log um, has seven years of data <laughs> that you can go in and just simply say, hey, get, show me all the deleted transactions. So I can start to see all this stuff here, you know, going back to 2018 and so forth. And, but most likely, you know, just look at the look here and you can see who, who deleted it and so forth like that and all that. So, all right, um, at this point, we need to fix this, right? So we gotta go back to the bank feeds and look for 103.09 to see if 
it's in there. So I would just go back to transactions, bank transactions, click, click on the Visa card, and here it is. Okay, so I would add it, Google Fiber, Google, I guess, okay, internet is fine, and add, boom. Okay, then I would go to the bank register. You can get to it from the chart of accounts or however you, however you open up the register, and we would need to find that. So as I'm looking down here, I'm looking for 103. Here it is. Notice it has a C next to that. And all the others have R's, which means those have been right. So this is the one, January 12th, Google. This is the one that needs to go back to re-reconcile. So we would just click there. Notice I can click it. It will just go into, you know, every time I click, I'm left clicking. It's a C, it's an R, it's nothing. I want to make sure it's an R. Save it. And then yes. And, and again, are you sure you want to make this? Yes. We're going to say yes here. Okay. All right, perfect. Then we'll just always always do this. After you get done re-reconciling, if that was the problem in the register, always go back to reconcile and see if that red box disappeared. And if it disappeared, you get out your bank statement and it shows you that the beginning balance is right there on the bank statement and the, the date that was last reconciled. So here we'd be looking when the February one comes out, we'd be looking to start February and we should be back on track. Okay. And so I hope this video helped you kind of break down what's going on when you see this account isn't ready to reconcile. And I hope I provide you with um, a tip or two on kind of how to troubleshoot on your own. Of course, there might be other issues um, that this video couldn't explain just because of the depth of your QuickBooks systems and perhaps duplicates or stuff like that. So I'll leave my um, way to contact me in the YouTube description. So feel free if you want to reach out and you want to get on a quick screen share and show me a few things that's going on. Perhaps maybe uh, we could work out uh, a troubleshooting session and, and see if it's a good fit for us to work together.